but they also have Punjabi pizza. Mm. Tan, this was your special request, man. Look, I know you a fan of the Can Am. Look, you got your Papa John's, you got your Little Caesars, you got your Pizza Huts. Nothing compares to Can Am. What comes to mind when you think of Indian food? Probably the word curry or tikka masala, right? In this episode of our Beyond series, we're taking it back to our hometown of Ken, which actually has a large amount of Indian restaurants, mostly owned by Punjabi families. So we'll try some of the classic Indian dishes that we've had before, but also some dishes that we've never tried. This is Beyond Butter Chicken. All right, guys, starting off our Indian food battle. Listen, we have everything from chicken dishes, tikka masala, butter chicken, the biryani, drinks. Punjabi pizza. We've got naan, roti, paratha, appetizers, samosas, penny puri, pakoras. Yo, start off with the drinks. Look, I'm a big fan of mango, so I'm obviously gonna go with the mango lassi. Mm. I love how you get that tangy yogurt smoothie taste, but I'm not gonna lie, I did not know that there were other flavors. So the sugar cane one basically is like mango lassi without the mango. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! No, no. This one's really similar to the sugarcane one, but it finishes it off with a spice. Yo, <laughs> spice. <laughs> Is this like any drink that you've had before? Can you compare no, it to anything it, else? It took me in a different Season. direction. Right. You feel that. Oh! It's kind of sweet, and then it's spicy. Whew. Different Bridge. waves to this. This one tastes pretty conventional. Does it taste like a gogurt? A yes. strawberry gogurt? Like a, right. a traditional gogurt. Also, one thing I noticed, never do the Indian drinks have ice. You know what? Ancient. No, oh. I'll tell you this, this was the most unique lassi I've had. Y'all right! Gosh, try, I, 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 know, I wasn't trying to try it, but... Now we're gonna wipe it with the sweatshirt. It's interesting. Salty? <laughs> no, it, that tastes like you should put that on top of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that spice that you guys are mentioning tastes like pepper. That's yeah. what I'm saying! That's I pepper think kid. it's a pepper lassi. See, they meant salt and pepper lassi. So, man, I gotta go actually with the salt and pepper one. Like, just because I like trying things okay. I never tried before. Okay. I'll go with the sugar cane one. That was that was nice. I gotta just roll with the regular mango lassi. I gotta agree. I think when I step into a uh, Indian restaurant, just gravitate towards that that common mango lassi. You can't mistake in the color. Dude. You see that from far away. You know sure. it's a mango so now, lassi. Yeah. Yeah. Lamb samosa. Mm. I actually like what level they cook the peas at. Really soft and it blends in with the meat. Does that not taste a little bit like halal, guys? Packed with flavor, yep. If this is just a little preview of what's ahead of us with this video, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. For me, we have something interesting you guys might have not had. This is called Penny Puri. These Those are little... look interesting. Puffs of ball that you break into and then you fill them up with this sweet water and garbanzo wow. beans. Oh, Almost wow. like a little ping pong So is it hollow? <laughs> it's hollow inside. It's, it's kind of like a little arts and crafts project. Little bit, little bit Jurassic Park vibe going yeah. on. <laughs> this is an interesting way to eat an appetizer. Yeah, yeah. I think you just eat it one bite, bro. Mm. Look, guys, Penny Puri. Penny Puri. Mm. Really, really good for something that has no meat. Yo, you're gonna see Indian food, man, does vegetarian food really Flavor well. Flavor-wise. Chicken pakora. A little on the drier side. I, I think this one I would like to try with some sauce. You know what? It tastes clean. Yeah, not good, easy. Good, flaky meat. Not I, heavy. I like. Yo, that sauce is crazy, by the way. Like yeah. A Almost like some liquors in there. Mm-hmm. I'm going with the samosas. Oh! That is a no-brainer. Say as an appetizer, I do like the pani puri because it's just like really refreshing. It's no, light. that's true. That's true. That's all right. Moving on to round three, which is the bread section. Man, right off the bat, I love how Yo, dense it is. In it. There's coconut in it. Oh my oh, wow. goodness! Oh, it's the coconut no. Oh, I fire! I didn't even know. It really tastes like the guy may bow from oh, the Cantonese bakeries. The coconut the naan is a five out of five. Oh, five out of five. Wow, this is a lamb naan. Okay. Lamb naan. Wow. I would say my my Indian food knowledge may be like out of five, like a, at best, like a 1.75. Yeah. Aren't right, you guys? We gotta roll through these naans. Go. We got more. So this is a paneer naan. Paneer is the primary cheese that like northern Indians use in their cooking. I like that a lot. It's salty, but not too overpowering. You know what that reminds me of? A really similar taste to feta cheese. It, to me, it's kind of a mixture of feta and mozzarella. It's not as stretchy and gooey as mozzarella, but it is. It definitely has a little bit more sour bite like feta. All right, guys, this is roti. Mm. As you can see, it's a little bit more dense. Mm -hmm. Definitely not as fluffy. Mm -hmm. This is made with wheat. I was just gonna say, it tastes more like wheat, obviously, compared to the naan. Hey, it tastes more healthy. <laughs> That's actually good. I think it's cool to have kind of like a, a more subtle bread. This is the plain paratha right here. Okay. This one looks a little bit more like some regular pita bread. There's something pretty special about like kind of like ripping it apart though. Yeah, I, I see why people eat with their hands. It's more fun. A little smoky flavor. 
a little more toned down than the roti, I would say. It was all like a mix in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Here we have the fried bread. You know what this reminds me, guys? Have you guys ever had a Native American fry bread? Oh, yeah. Uh, Pori. Mmm. I like it. It's not too oily. It does give me that uh, sesame ball flavor. Yeah. I would say this is a good combination of all the breads we had so far. Yeah. The aloo paratha. This is like a sour potato paratha. Special sour one. potato is fire. Paratha. You can see that color pop. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Richard, you taking some big rips. Hey right, guys. Paratha. Wow. Oh. That tastes like it's been dipped already. Wow. Wow. This does not need any dipping right That's there. That's a dish right there. The Soft dish is inside. inside. Nice flavor from the potato. Wow. You would Imagine think... like mashed potatoes in a mm. bread. This is this is going with one of these curries. Hell yeah. What are you guys going with real quick, guys? I'm going Three, with two. aloo. Aloo paratha. Aloo paratha. I got aloo too. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you oh, guys up, switched man. it up on the coconut one. A few moments later. Richie. Damn. I'm going with the coconut one, actually. Yeah. Wow. It's a tie, then. It's a tie. Right. It's a tie, right, guys. Well, it can't be a tie if it's two. Uh, <laughs> we got our Indian we expert over here. <laughs> okay, that's the coconut one. Coconut naan versus the alu paratha. Coconut. Coconut. Paratha. Wow. Yeah. All right, moving on to round four. We have the chicken dishes. I think we got to start with the butter chicken. Let's go with the butter Passing. chicken. Butter chicken. Always breast meat, huh? Yeah. Oh, and, and always boneless, I feel like. Yeah. Always, always boneless, and I appreciate that. I appreciate I that. With this is like the one dish that's gone like super mainstream, you know? Yeah, like you sure. can get this yeah. frozen at Trader Joe's. Yo, man, honestly can't go wrong with butter chicken. I don't know, am I crazy for saying that, that would have been cool with some thigh pieces too? I Did always see, think right? that. I yeah. always think that. Because you have chickens, what do you do with the chicken thigh? All right, so we just got the tiki masala right here. You were right. The kick is on another notch. Oh, you tasted it already. Okay. <laughs> tiki masala. Whoa. Mm. It's pretty different. Right? Five more spices in there. I think a lot of the times I thought I was actually eating butter chicken <laughs> was probably actually the tiki masala. How could you be so? Try it with the potato. Mm. We're just trying to mix and match the breads yeah. to, to match with the right spices. Did Good you guys food, expect man. it to taste as different or was it less different than you expected? So I could actually now, I'm pretty confident <laughs> in my tiki masala butter chicken radar. We gotta keep it moving guys. Yep. That round was delicious actually, wow. Tandoor chicken. Is it tandoori? Tandoori chicken! <laughs> oh, I can Magic. see one drumstick, all the spices on this. How do you the like spices it? on that? Wow, look at these pieces. Let me just switch it around. Who will win the chicken battles? Tandoori chicken. You can taste all of that char, the onions, the bell peppers. This drumstick is very, very, very flavorful. Char is a good word. Mm, very flavorful. You know that char burger from mm -hmm. Habit? This is more char than that. <laughs> I got straight camping vibes. Guys, moving on, our last chicken dish. Chicken Vindaloo. Yeah, Vindaloo. Vindaloo, bro, that is a name. Definitely tastes the Actually, lightest, the lightest out of everything as far as flavor wise. Almost tastes like a lemon curry to me. Mm -hmm. That was nice, it was easy to eat. Am I the only one that thinks it's the spiciest too? Yes, it is, is it? actually the spiciest, Andrew. Am I tripping? Yeah. You guys, I'm actually rolling. Wow. With the chicken tiki masala. Oh. If you made me eat like the whole thing, I would eat the butter chicken though. What a weird thing to say <laughs> after you pick it. For this round, I got with it. Chicken vindaloo. Smoke. The chicken vindaloo. Man, <laughs> stop playing this <laughs> whole city. The tiki masala. The tiki masala was fire. If there's a reason these are the top two, stop playing with the people. It's yeah. one of these. All right, now on to round number Woo! five. Probably India's most famous rice dish, which is the biryani. So most traditionally, it's made with goat and lamb. And then the most popular one that's probably ordered in America is the chicken biryani. I gotta ask you though, are you feeling it? Huh? But isn't that a thing within Indian food, the heaviness and like feeling it? Do you guys feel it? It is, it is. It is, uh, you, I feel Indian. You, this is goat biryani. Flavor is mm. like, like flavors all over the meat. Kinda tastes like beef. Wow, I would say goat is a good mixture of beef and lamb. Maybe if I was just gonna get one thing, I wouldn't go for it. But as a, a third option, biryani. lamb biryani. Mm. Definitely fattier. Way, Man, way... I don't know. I can't even tell the difference between no. lamb and goat. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. The texture reminds me of like a shredded beef. Mm. More shreddiness. Yeah. I would say this one, you could have easily fooled me that this was beef. I think in a way, and I don't want to speak too soon, I like the goat better. I enjoyed I, my piece of goat actually I agree. more. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I felt it after the lamb. 
my tummy, the belly, the belly. And we got a long ways to go so we still got the sweets <laughs> and we still got the fire wow, this fusion is a pizza coming up. Yeah. Chicken biryani. Who wants to be the chicken biryani? Just give me one piece of chicken, man. No, still don't get to choose. Oh. The guy's chicken Whoa, biryani. Chicken, chicken tender. Chicken tender. I would say the chicken almost blends in better with the rice than the other meats. Yeah, mm. I agree. I'm going with the chicken biryani. It, it really helps that the chicken, the dark meat chicken, is juicy. I think it just soaks in more flavor. I would say for me, easily, the chicken biryani. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Andrew? Unanimous? The goat Ooh. was the most interesting. I, I'm not saying I would eat goat meat over chicken. For me, I'm just gonna roll with the goat on this one, but I totally understand. Chicken biryani is the most ordered, probably most popular biryani of them all. You guys feeling all right? Feeling great, what man. What a this battle was a, so far. Hey, one thing that's kind of interesting about our city, Kent, that we grew up in, not only are there a lot of Indian restaurants, but they also have Punjabi pizza. Mm. Tan, this was your special request, man. Look. I know you a fan of the Can-Am. Look, you got your Papa John's, you got your Little Caesars, you got your Pizza Hut's. Nothing compares to Can Am. Oh, we right. got the Tandoor butter, butter chicken, chicken pizza. It's yes. tomato, but it's not like tangy. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It, all right. There, you know what there is? I think there's slight marinara pizza sauce. Okay. In here, um, and then you have little chopped tomatoes on top. I was gonna say the tomatoes go a long the, way. Like, I'm excited for the Tandoori. This looks the most interesting. Striking, yeah. Almost yeah. like a hot flaming Cheeto. Would you say mm. that this color of the Tandoori chicken is almost something you you were more expecting from the other authentic Tandoori? Yeah, for I sure. I think for well, sure. you opened the lid and you were like, "Whoa, yes. guys, Tandoori chicken pizza." Mm. Compared to the butter chicken pizza, it's not as creamy. You taste more of the seasoned meat than you do with the butter chicken. You actually taste like more of the sauce, more of the butter chicken. A lot of red onions. That's the main onion that is used in Indian cuisine. You know, like on pepperoni pizzas where you might take a bite and not even get a piece of pepperoni? There's chicken in every single bite. I feel like this is more like a true fusion. 50-50. All right, guys, before we make our decision, though, we have the Kadahi chicken pizza right here. Right off the bat, I noticed the yellow sauce underneath the toppings. There's some garam masala in this. Garam masala is the, the main mm. yellow powder that people associate with curry, but oh. curry is actually technically not a flavor. So we think of curry always as like a certain flavor, spice yeah. and flavor, but that's not necessarily true. I guess that was more of a British thing. It definitely has most Roman. Shout out to the pickled uh, jalapenos on here. Mm. Kadahi chicken pizza. Mmm. Whoa, juicy. Definitely the one with the most flavor so far. Whoa, mm. man. I like this one. Mm. I like this one a lot. It's got a lot going on. It's almost like a cur uh, traditional wow. curry flavor that we're used to. All right, guys, so with the pizza, man, obviously, they were all good, but I'm going with the Kadahi. I guys? think I'm, I gotta roll with the Kadahi. It had all yes. the right veggies that you wanted, the right flavor. It makes me wanna try that dish now. I have to almost judge off my plate, and it's looking like the butter chicken, it's, my friend. It's the butter chicken. Wow, okay. Wow. And I'm gonna agree with David. So, I mean, I hate to just tie it, but I gotta say the butter chicken is the reason why I ate whole box by myself. So, I'm gonna <laughs> well, have to go with the butter chicken. Let me tell you this, Tan, you hate to tie it, but you know who's not mad that you tied it? Gabe. Gabe's not Gabe. mad. Come on, Asian uh, Randy Johnson. I think I know what Gabe's gonna say. Mm, I would say the butter chicken. Mm. Okay. That, that's the number one seller I can't am. That For is. Sure. All right, everybody, we just finished up with the hot entrees, but we wanted to throw in this section about Indian snacks. Parla Parla G. G. I've never ate biscuits and tea, David. Is this how you do it? Oh, you made some chai. Literally almost looks like Kris Jenner. Oh, man. Oh, well, it's not bad. I mean, I guess it's a tea cookie. So this is just one of those like standard famous cookie flavors that you could probably find in a lot of different forms. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a four out of five. I'm enjoying well, we, it. Well, we have a Next up, we got the Haldaram section. Haldaram's is one of those OG Indian brands. I guess it's been around for like eight decades. That's a long time. Well, let's start with the Bombay mix since I have it in my hand. Mild spicy blend of crisp noodles, lentils, and peanuts. They do eat a lot of lentils in India, so let's try it. Tastes like some other kind of Asian snacks we've had before, but um, a little bit more curry based. Overall, I can see it, it's tasty. You made more garam masala, because curry is not a flavor. I want to try the things that made Haldaram rich. Panchataran. So these look like little fried oh, potatoes. Snap. Yo, the panchataran coming in with something I did not expect. They got some raisins with some picnic sticks. That was that was good. I like how it's sweet. That one's the best one so far. All right, guys, here we have the katamita. Ooh, okay, light yellow. I see some turmeric, I want to say. I taste the mango powder, it's bright. I didn't know mango powder was a thing. It's 
kind of fruity. Okay, here we have the uh, cornflakes mixture. This looks like some spicy cereal. Okay, so it has a little bit of the potatoes mixed in and the cornflakes. Still got the raisins in there. Dude, would you say that almost it has some like chicken flavor? Yeah, that almost tasted more like a meal. All right, guys, coming up, we have the spicy potato noodles. I think this is gonna be a good one. That's how the Halderam family got rich, and it was off the buja. So this is the million dollar buja. All right. Definitely tastes like how a old spice store smells. It has a little bit more of that like dried like supermarket Yo. vibe, but it's good. All right, we're moving on to the next brand, India Life, which is doing a little bit more of like your new school, like Whole Foods type Mumbai mix. Okay, so we had the Bombay mix earlier. This is the Mumbai mix. <coughs> I need some chai. I can't say that was my favorite. Dal mix. These kind of do look like those little uh, wonton strips. Not bad. It didn't really stand out to me though. I could see more older people liking this one. It does taste like the Chinese American crispy noodles. All right guys, moving on. We have the spicy chevdo. This is a hot Punjabi mix. So that sounds like a fire playlist on Spotify. Whoa, okay, got some potato chips in there. Yeah, it was, it was like a really healthy Chex mix. Easily the most similar to a trail mix. I like the elements, but it tasted almost exactly how it looked. Mo please, Chana Chor. This company leads the world in making sweet, savory Indian snacks. Wow, look at these chips. Actually, this looks interesting. Yo, I've never seen anything so, like this. Hella flavor. Wow. I would say it resembles like a Mexican snack. To be honest, guys, all these snacks caught me off guard on how good they were. All right, last one. Lemon bech. Behel. This was the shop owner's favorite item. Uh, this is a lemon bell. Nice and light. This is a good snack. Easy to eat. Oh man, I feel so torn between the alu buja and the pancharatan. Okay. But I'm gonna go with the alu buja. Okay. Haldoram built a buja empire. They did not build a cornflake empire. I'm gonna roll with the pancharatan. There's only one per brand, so. What? So what? We disagree. No, there has to be a winner. It's like John dried noodles. Behind the camera, man. Uh, I tried them earlier, and I gotta say, the dudes are the thick filling man. Whoa! First of all, you know me, Andrew, I'm a fry guy. I love potato sticks, but the rate- I'm a fry guy. With the I'm a fry guy, give me some fries. <laughs> uh, Guys, thanks for watching that portion of Indian snacks. Back on to Indian dessert. All right, guys, we have round seven. We finished it off with the hot food and the entrees. We are now on to the sweet section. Woo! So this galab jamun here is like a, uh, almost like a fried donut hole, you want wow. okay. to say. Yo, that. right now, I got to say the galab jamun, to me, it almost looks like a gigantic boba ball. Galab jamun, soaking in syrup. Dude. Oh, yeah. That is so decadent. Hell, yeah. It is like a dense donut hole. I've had many, many, many desserts in my lifetime. The sweetest <laughs> dessert I've ever had. I really like, I it. like it. I'm a, I'm a Galab Jamin fan. You could almost drink and suck the syrup out of it, man. Wow. Good, bro. This is fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know how things are double fried? This might be triple fried. Yeah. We all just gonna go with one thing. Go one thing. I'll see what you pick, me. Richie. Okay, Richie got milk cake. So I'm gonna go with the, the carrot cake. Yo, this I is the Indian carrot cake. I'm gonna go with fire. the stick. Shoot, let me go with these little tubes here. Punjabi, Punjabi sweets. Sweet. Whoa, this is good. Yeah? Kind of want to compare it with chocolate, but like grainy. Dude, this texture is crazy. When you feel it, it almost like feels like putty. Yeah. It tastes yeah. like a carrot cake fudge. There is a fudgy quality yeah. to all of these. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does taste like a white chocolate. Flavor is fire. Yeah. Try Yo, try the milk cake. It looks like a little is bowds of them. Is it good? It's, it's good, it's good, it's good. good. Definitely good. It's interesting. Yeah. Take a little bit of that. Bro, this is straight up white chocolate. Yeah. That's interesting. But I gotta say, that um, milk cake, yeah. that is fire. Yeah. I might go with the carrot cake. What? Uh, <laughs> stop. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the only thing I could finish and I'll probably eat another one is the Galab oh, yeah. But yeah, I would say this. Indian sweets, by all means, are super, super sweet. What are you guys rolling with as far as the desserts go? I, I as got, far as oh, the, man. I got the kaju I'm going with, I'm going with the galab jamun. Good. Uh, galab jamun. I'm jamin. going with this. Milk cake. Milk cake. Milk cake. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that Indian episode of Fun Bros Food. We were Woo! just trying to break it down. We are not experts. Please <laughs> correct us what we got wrong, but I, I try to do my research. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And we just wanted to show our appreciation for Indian food because it is something that we did grow up eating and there's actually a lot of Indian restaurants in our hometown, and, mm -hmm. which is where we're at right now. All right guys, let us know in the comments down below what your favorite Indian dish is and why. And let us know if there's another culture's food that we should also cover and put into a battle format. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace. Super sweet. Super sweet.
Look at that all shiny and smooth. Yeah, look, look at the camera and be like, Galabdomen. Galabdomen. <laughs> first, <laughs> first bite ever. <laughs> and then when the neck moves, that's when you know it's, oh. It's actually hell of fire, I can't even lie. It, it just reminds me of like a, a, a donut holy, like you said, it's just been sitting for a long time, just in, what is it? Kind of water, or rose water? Rose, rose water. water syrup. Really good. Highly recommend.